today we will continue talking more about Kyrgyzstan and I will tell you a nice story. The capital of Kyrgyzstan is Bishkek and is located near the northern border. Bishkek now has a population of more than 1 million. The flag of Kyrgyzstan is a yellow sand on a red background. Horse riding is still important in Kyrgyz culture and many of the traditional games. And national sports in Kyrgyzstan reflect this. Children keep paying close attention and I will tell you a nice story of it. Today I will talk about Camila. She lives in Biscay, the capital of Kyrgyzstan. Camila had a big problem when she started the 8th grade. Her classes had always been to Monday from Friday. But this time as the 8th grade, she also had to study on Saturday. Camila, upon hearing all this, became very sad and she had a lot of faith. Camila and her mother went to talk to the pastor to help them. Her mother, who was deaf and don't explain every to throw some language to her doctor to tell the pastor. The pastor listened to everything and asked Camila to continue praying. Then the pastor made a letter for Camila to justify not going to school on Saturdays. Camila and her mother took the letter to the teacher. The teacher said that he could now give her permission and that it would be better to talk to the director. Camila and her mother went to look for the director. They present him with a letter that said they go to church on Saturdays. Camila say we are seven day Adventists and we do not work or stay on Saturdays. However, the director should his hand say no and he said that Camila should stay on Saturdays. And Camila still went to church on Sabbath. After the service, Camila's mother saw the principal of the seven day Adventist boarding school in Tokmok. The principal told the mother to pray more. So the principal, Camila and Camila's mother, began to pray constantly that someone could help Camila pay for the Adventist school because the mother did not have enough money. Every passed and the excited director to Camila that they had found someone she could help. Camila was thrilled. Very happy and thank God for her blessings. Camila's mother was also very happy. The next day, Camila moved to the dormitory at the Abbey's school. In addition to study, she is also working cleaning floors to help pay the tuition. Camila said that she is very thankful to God that she can know. Keep the Sabbath. Three years ago, part of the offerings of the 30 Sabbath they helped Bell a gig at Camila's school in Tokmo, Kyrgyzstan. Children, thank you very much for supporting the Adventist education in Kyrgyzstan and in other locations in the Eurasian Division. Now is the time to give our offerings with love. See you in our next time. God bless you all.